Good morning and uh, maybe good afternoon or good evening depending on when you're viewing this. Uh, I wanted to take a quick moment just to welcome you to uh, the IICTI, so part one AQ course offered by OECTA and it will be facilitated by me. Uh, my name is Jennifer King. Uh, so uh, for those of you who do know me, this will be a little bit of uh, a refresher. Uh, so welcome to those uh, colleagues joining me from Ottawa. I've been a teacher with the Ottawa Catholic School Board for just over eight years now. Uh, prior to that, I was a social worker for 15. Um, I've also been teaching uh, the OECTA AQ courses, so parts one and two and the specialist, oh goodness, I think for at least five years now, maybe even six if I go back and look. Uh, it's been an awesome ride. Um, I'm also um, pleased to let you know that you will be uh, the first class or one of the first classes to be um, participating in a course that was written by me. So this will be uh, the uh, sort of the inauguration, I guess, as it were, uh, of my course. So I'm looking forward to hearing some feedback from you about the course content um, and other such things. Uh, on the side of uh, all of these sorts of fun jobs that I do have, I'm also a professor at the University of Ottawa in the Faculty of Education, and I'm a Sakana professor at the University of St. Paul here in Ottawa as well. So that's me. Uh, I'm also a mom, I should point that out, and a wife to a, a wonderful uh, gentleman who is also in the tech business, so that's very helpful. Uh, whenever I get into a bind, I always have in-house support. Uh, so I just wanted to welcome you all again. Uh, we have an extremely large group of um, colleagues joining us for this course. Uh, for the most part, uh, you are taking the course at, at a full-time um, status. There are, however, a few uh, of you who are joining us who are taking uh, a, a module, perhaps two, perhaps even three modules. Uh, so you'll be joining us at different times. So for those of you who aren't uh, familiar with the module process, um, uh, our colleagues who are taking um, this course module by module will be jumping in for specific um, components of the course as opposed to uh, joining us for the entire course. So if you see that names are dropping here and there uh, or you're not hearing much from them on the discussion forum, um, it's because they're only um, taking part in certain modules to fulfill the um, requirements uh, for the module completions. Uh, that being said, uh, as we are such a large group, um, you can expect that uh, we'll be divvying up the discussion forum so that we have a few extra um, options there. So the options will be that uh, you'll be put into uh, smaller groups for some of the discussions uh, just to make the um, uh, the workload a little easier so you're not scrolling constantly through you know 330 kinds of, uh, of replies and you're certainly not expected to reply to all of those or respond to each of them in a meaningful way. Uh, this way by dividing you up into groups of let's say five to six um, uh, peers or colleagues uh, in the same group, uh, that way you'll get the chance to respond meaningfully uh, to fewer people and engage in a, um, a more uh, like a richer dialogue I guess is what I'm getting at. Um, in terms of a larger group uh, sort of presence, you can expect to uh, be offered, it's not mandatory, but you're certainly offered a few options to join um, on uh, a video uh, sort of chat where uh, it will be uh, you will be using the Adobe Connect platform um, to help us to uh, delve into some topics a little bit uh, deeper. Um, the other thing that I'm a complete fan of, and, and you'll learn this pretty quickly, uh, is uh, the Twitter chat. So Twitter chats have um, uh, amazing uh, potential, uh, particularly when you're developing a new skill set, um, or if you're looking at um, augmenting a skill set that you already have, or if you're looking at um, expanding your PLN or your professional learning network a little bit further. Don't fret, we'll get to that um, a little bit later and I'll certainly have tutorials and things that will be posted to guide you through that if uh, these types of chats are new to you. Um, the, I guess for the first week, uh, my expectation for you is just to slow down, uh, make sure that you've logged in, and if you're watching this, obviously you've logged in. Um, and the other part is that I'd like you to ensure that uh, at least daily or every other day or whatever schedule you happen to set up for yourself for this course, that you're checking the calendar and the news post section. Um, now, those are basically on the splash page or the page that will open for you. Um, I'll also be adding on our Twitter feed as we get uh, going with the course. 
um, uh, to-dos uh, that are sort of crucial at this point, certainly by the end of the week. Uh, I'd like to have your OCT certificates uh, placed into the Dropbox. And again, uh, I will link that in the news section today and the Dropbox will be open for you. Uh, there is a Google Form and a Padlet within Module 1, uh, the first component. Um, so what I'd like you to do is, again, by the end of the week, if you could have those uh, two or, I guess, three brief tasks completed, uh, then I can see that you'll be on track, and that would be really helpful for me in terms of administrative things as well. The Google Form will help me to get to know more about you, what you're looking for in terms of the course, perhaps your skill set, a little bit more about you. Um, there's also a section where you will be sharing that online with your colleagues. Um, the Padlet uh, and the Google Form are both uh, platforms that some of you may be familiar with. For those of you that aren't familiar with it, my hope is that you'll um, get a chance to actually use it uh, for a, a specific purpose. And then in doing so, that you'll see um, the, uh, the applications of both of these uh, into your own classroom practices. Um, that's sort of my intent for the majority of the course. Uh, is that uh, I'll be introducing you to some new uh, applications that uh, will, you'll be able to use the very next day in your class. That's my hope. Deadlines for this course are not set in stone. I'm extremely flexible to a point. Um, please email me if you're unsure, uh, if you have any concerns about some of the course content, you're not quite sure where you should be posting, that kind of thing. Let me know. Um, I will be setting up a questions and concerns forum uh, in the discussion board today. I didn't want to overwhelm you with going through all sorts of things in the course, so I'll be adding things uh, probably on a daily basis just this week, and then the course will be set up and ready to go. Um, so if you see that things are not quite linked properly or you see some things are missing, again, don't fret. I'm doing this um, really to help you out just so that you're not seeing everything all at once and it doesn't become too overwhelming for you. Uh, the contact information for me is in the first post in the news section, so most of you who have been online have already seen that. Please do not hesitate whatsoever to get in contact with me through any of those means. Um, I believe I left my cell phone number as well. Uh, if you're in an absolute bind, a complete crisis, by all means, give me a call. That's just fine. Uh, any dead links that you find uh, anywhere in the course, again, I'm going to set up um, a section in the discussion forum so that you can post there. Uh, dead links happen from time to time as we know. Uh, the internet is an interesting place that can sometimes work for us and sometimes not so much. So we'll just ensure that we keep the course updated and accurate um, with your help. That would be fantastic. So that being said, that's a very quick introduction. Also welcome to my grade 6 classroom. Um, I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of this space. Um, and I'm sure that I'll be sharing with you as well uh, some interesting things that are happening in my classroom from a tech standpoint. Um, if some of you are already on Twitter, by all means jump on Twitter and you can follow me at Jennifer N. King. Um, and you'll be able to see a few things that are happening in my class or some of the professional uh, development that I've been doing um, online. Again, that's a bit of a pitch for me, but it's a great way, again, to develop your professional learning network, and that's exactly what you're going to do with this course. So welcome uh, to the course. Uh, I'm so happy that you're here, and I'm also happy that I'll be uh, joining you on this journey of new learning, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.